<laughs> Nothing like constraints, huh? Shooting on my iPhone in a short window because I want to talk about gratitude. I want to talk about getting a reality check. So last week I posted a video about how important it was for me to exercise and how I'm trying to prioritise my exercise. This week we have constraints for reasons which I'm not going to get into right now but I have to make this week's video today or tomorrow and I've got stuff happening in my life which is taking some time away from my day and I just want to give a shout out to my amazing wife because she gave me a really good reality check when I got home feeling stressed because my chores um, having to fill my day with going to the pharmacy cleaning the kitchen putting away the messages which is a Scottish term for groceries shopping and taking care of the dogs and getting my exercise in because I've got a rehearsal tonight for the Masonic Lodge I've got a Zoom call coming up in 32 minutes and I was just feeling overwhelmed I spent two hours this morning doing my weekly review with some of the August Bradley students just as a way of you know, an accountability thing to try and bring some other people on board to show them how my weekly reviews are done and set up my projects for the week which I did and then I ended up spending time trying to tweak some things that came to light in my system and basically procrastinating because I love messing around with systems tweaking things and then not actually doing the things that I had scheduled so this is a good, good example of how I've managed to use journaling to get my arse out the door I got in, I started writing a little bit in my journal as I do throughout the day at various points where I said I was actually having a bit of a rant saying I'm not going to get my exercise done today and I want to walk three times this week and I've only got till Thursday. <sighs> How am I going to do that? And then I was like, well, unless, unless I look at the fact that my exercise is about cardio, it's about mental health, it's about being outdoors. It's not about ticking the six kilometre box, which is at the top of this hill and then that way. All I need to do is get to the top of the hill and then come straight back down again, which is what I've done. So I've got my heart going, my cardio, didn't have the AirPods in, no audio books, and no big camera, just the phone. And I thought, yeah, that's got me out the door. And it's not about checking the box, it's about getting the heart rate up, getting the cardio done, getting outdoors so I did it I did it and I've now got 30 minutes to get home get a quick shower and set up for my mentorship call with August Bradley but yeah my, my point about my ever-loving wife was that I said to her I'm just going to go up the hill and she said what's wrong you look sad and I was like yeah I can only do half of my walk because of all the things that people are making me do you know, poor me. It's the, the, the alcoholic victim that comes to fore a lot. That feeling that everything would be all right if only it weren't for everybody else, right? So that's a kind of default thought pattern that I have that I really don't want to have. And so awareness is the first part of fixing it. But sometimes the awareness is... It's frustrating because I'm aware of it and I'm not doing anything about it, except I am. And I got a reality check from my wife and she said, you need to get some perspective. And I started going on about how can I have perspective? All I've got is chores. She said, I would love to have chores. I would love to be able to do chores, but she can't because her workload is such that she's 
absolutely overwhelmed pretty much all the time with deadlines and she can't get anything done in the house let alone go out walk up a hill for half an hour on her own you know get a bit of headspace like that no she has none of that and here's me feeling like a victim because I have some awesome things to do <laughs> yeah so thank you my darling for that dose of reality that's what having a loving partner should be all about not putting up with my pish and letting me know how things are which she did do and then I was I had the wherewithal to get out anyway get up the hill and then record a video wow so here I am recording that video which hopefully I'll have the courage to post and hopefully will help someone out there who's in need of a reality check so there we have it folks today's video done time to get home do my mentorship class and then get out to my rehearsal have a great one I'll speak to you all soon bye for now